like so many things at Cisco, innovation happens all over the company. Uh, and this particular program was uh, founded by two individuals. Uh, one was a uh, individual who happened to be a customer and came over to work at Cisco because he had some passion around education and what the uh, Network Academy program could be. And then it was under the stewardship of John Morgridge, uh, at the time chairman of Cisco. Uh, and together, this idea uh, blossomed from a little academy pilot program that, that we were going to test out in maybe six states in the U.S., which we thought was quite, quite aggressive in 1997, uh, and has now turned into something that's in 100, over 160 countries uh, with a big focus on gender and gender equality uh, that uh, we also built in uh, training materials for instructors and now we'll be launching uh, the Next Generation Network Academy curriculum uh, in October. So one of the unique features of the Network Academy program is that it was designed from the very beginning to be a partnership-oriented program. Uh, as we know at Cisco, uh, that individually we can only do a certain a limited amount, but with partners we can actually provide a full-service program. And one of the critical stakeholders and partners have always been the public sector. A lot of these uh, academies are built within institutions that are overseen by ministries of education. Uh, uh, there are some countries who have adopted uh, the Network Academy as part of their uh, educational curriculum. And so it's been a public-private partnership from day one. Uh, but again, it, there's multiple stakeholders here as well as the public sector. The instructors become incredibly important, as you know, as well as the students and the alumni who continue to feed us with information and their assessment of how the program has been and what we can do to improve it. Well, I think there are many success stories. Uh, you hear stories around, uh, particularly for women who normally would not have had access to internet technology, but they attend uh, the Network Academy uh, uh, curriculum, and, and they, once they get their certification, you've heard about them getting jobs in ministries and public sector. Uh, you've also heard about the impact that this has had on students and how it's encouraged them to go on and pursue uh, higher degrees in uh, IT. The ICT sector. Uh, so there are a lot of stories here and I think the, the real test will be over the next 10 years as we really uh, get feedback on the impact it's had on people as they enter the workforce. As you know, the, over the last 10 years, there have been a tremendous number of students, instructors, uh, as well as educational institutions who have been involved in the development of the Academy program. But as we move forward, uh, just as we recognize here at Cisco, the technology evolves with opportunities to incorporate newer and faster, more, uh, more interactive technologies that are available. And it's important for the Network Academy to continue to evolve as well and be relevant. Our goal is not just to have uh, programs out there that people can attend, but programs out there that when they graduate, they walk away with some tangible skills that enable them to have access to jobs and opportunities that previously were not available to them.